At least 18 people, including eight Indian Army personnel, were killed in a series of terror attacks in India's northern Jammu and Kashmir on Friday. The strikes come at a time when the province is going through assembly elections with a record voter turnout so far. An army camp in Yuri, some 43 miles from the summer capital Srinagar, came under a pre-dawn attack on Friday. Six heavily armed militants stormed the area and opened fire at army personnel. All the attackers were gunned down by the military in the retaliatory fire. Terror attacks were also reported from Saura and Shopian on Friday. According to reports, the terrorists infiltrated into the Indian territory from Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. The strikes took place as Jammu and Kashmir is holding provincial polls to elect its new government. It also comes days before Prime Minister Narendra Modi is scheduled to address an election rally in Srinagar next week. Analysts said the attack shows the desperation of Pakistan after the massive voter turnout in the ongoing elections. See, it is clearly evident that the Pakistani army and its ISI have become desperate and they are disheartened by the large voter turnout in the first two phases of the assembly elections and that any cost want to disturb the elections in Jammu and Kashmir. The basic uh, aim of all these acts is to draw international attention towards Kashmir and send a message that the Kashmir is still a boiling and a flashpoint. And that is what their leaders have also been drumming at various events, international events. Many also felt that India should send out a strong message to Pakistan over its continued support to Kashmiri militants. So this is the high time that the government should take a lesson from this and now send a message to the Pakistan that you have crossed all limits and nothing more will be tolerated from now onwards. Intelligence agencies had warned of a spike in terror attack in the valley, targeting politicians and poll rallies in order to disrupt the polls. Jammu and Kashmir is voting in five phases to elect the next provincial government.